All right, thanks for joining us. This is how to play Splendor. Let's get you going. So the object of Splendor is to collect uh, the cards over the course of the game that will give you victory points. Some cards don't have any victory points. Other ones are worth, you know, one, two, three, four, five points. Also, you can collect the visits from the nobles who will also give you victory points over the course of the game. All right, so let's go over the actions that you can take on your turn. During your turn, there's four things that you can choose to do. The first option that you can choose is to take one jewel from three different stacks, uh, giving you three different uh, colors that you can place down in front of your player area. The other option you can do is take two from a stack, um, but in order to do that, there has to be a minimum of four gems in the stack. So for instance, the green gems, I couldn't take two of those because there's only three gems in that stack, but I could take two of these black ones and place them in my player area. The third option that you can do is you can choose a card in play and reserve it, keeping it in your hand, and later on you can go ahead and purchase it. Also, you'll take a gold chip, which is basically a, a wild. Um, it, when you purchase, you can use this to count as any color. The th last option that you can do is you can purchase a card. You can purchase cards from the ones face up in the table, or you can purchase cards that you've reserved into your hand. Each card has a cost in order to purchase it. Um, for instance, this red gem here costs three white gems. Now these three white gems can be made up of the tokens that you've taken into your, into your player area, and you can use the cards that you've also purchased previously in other turns to act as discounts towards purchasing that card. Um, so for instance, in my player area, I already have two white gems in my area, so that's gonna give me a, a two gem discount on whites, uh, making it to where this red gem is only gonna cost me one white gem. Um, so I can go ahead and use my one token plus my two discount to purchase this card, put it in my play area. After I've done that, it goes in my play area, and now I have a bigger discount for purchasing um, in the future using red gems. At the end of your turn, we'll look up here at the nobles, and if you meet any of the requirements on one of the nobles, they'll come and visit you and you'll get those victory points. Um, the nobles, for instance, this one, uh, this one right here, you need four black bonus cards in front of you and four red bonus cards in front of you. If this is true, the noble will come and visit you. So down at our play area here, I do have the four, four black gems as well as purchasing this last red gem gave me four red gems. So that satisfies the requirement of this noble. So I can go ahead and place him in my area and he's now worth three points for me at the end of the game. The first one to get to 15 points over the course of the game will trigger the end, end of the game and everybody will be able to take an additional action until everybody's taken the same amount. Once everybody has taken equal amount of turns, whoever has the most points is gonna win the game.